go. All right, out here once again, uh, the first uh, review of the trip. Um, we're kind of getting out here a little late. It's kind of nice, so yeah. it's fair weather. So anyway, um, it's a Lagunitas Dark Swan Sour Ale. Uh, sorry, it's a little torn at the bottom. Um, this is a uh, 25 IBUs, 7.7 .7 alcohol by volume, Petaluma, Petaluma yeah. California, and Chicago, Illinois. Um, these guys make some pretty pretty damn good beers. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, Apparently, this is made from uh, wine grapes. Yeah, it has right. some, uh, I mean, it's still a beer, but it's got like red wine grapes in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's a sour ale with the red wine grapes, and it says it's dry hopped. 25 IBUs, so there mm -hmm. are some bittering hops in the boil, but I'm not sure. I don't even know what to expect from it oh, yeah. at all. I'm very interested, so yeah. curiosity is going yep. to force me to open this thing. Now, let's see what we got. should be pretty good. All right, we're uh, beginning to pour this thing. Oh, damn. Look at the color. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Oh, wow. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. I mean, it, it almost looks like a... Uh, Looks like like a lamb beak or something. Oh, yeah, you know, absolutely. Doesn't it? I hope it tastes like Look that. at that reddish color, purple color. Mm. The head is nice and like yeah, pink, purpley almost. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. That's just. But I hope that translates on the video here. It smells like dry hopped beer. Yeah, I know. It smells like, well, yeah. It's like the way you look, the way it looks and then smells is a total difference. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Yeah, oh. just a nice, clean, kind of floral hop nose up front. Yeah, not it's too strong either. Certainly it's smells just, dry hopped. Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn. Sour, but not like puckeringly sour. No. Um, dry all the way from the start to the finish. Mm -hmm. Not sweet at all. Kind of like a red wine in a way. Like, but then it gives way to beer. Oh yeah, like it's it, like a nice transition. Like, like, yeah, it's almost like a, just a light pale ale at the very end. Right. Like the, like the sourness and the kind of that wine grape. Yeah. Uh, sort of character just. And the hops kick in a little bit. Yeah, like, a little yeah. bit. It just it kind of it goes it, like it. The sourness comes up and then it plateaus a little bit real dry and then that goes away and then you kind of have that residual beer sort of, mm -hmm. I don't know, almost like a, just a real light pale ale through right. there. Just a little tiny bit malty. Damn. It's funny because this is like... A little it, bit of hop flavor but not bitterness. Right, you know? right, right. It's just, this is the first beer I've ever had that goes from wine to beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking ingenious, man. Uh, these guys did a really good job with this. Like, I don't know why I thought it would just linger kind of yeah maybe it's the grapes sweeter i well it just i guess mm. the color you know mm -hmm. um it's quite dry and i thought maybe it would be a little more sour i think it's just the right amount yeah it's not overpowering no it, so. it doesn't have the, you know it's not like a belgian or something remember that ce that cellar blender that was just like whoa puckery yeah. almost oh, yeah. sour yeah god damn yeah that was amazing hmm this is a... Yeah, I don't know how to describe it other than it's dry, but it's also kind of malty. Mm -hmm. You don't get any re residual sweetness out of it, but you still get that real kind of rich, pale character out of it. And yep. then the hops are moderately consistent. Like, the more I drink, the more I get a little more hops out of it, you know? Right. Flavor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, God Dude, damn, this is so weird it's, and amazing. It's, it's so fucking, fucking good. These too. guys nailed something right on the head, dude. Yeah, like, I agree. That's just, and you can't even taste the alcohol. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a 7.7. .7. Mm -hmm. Brutal. God, this would be so fucking great with like rare red meats and shit. Okay. Grilled shrimp. Oh, fuck yeah. Right <laughs> Grilled there. Shrimp, Grilled shrimp. Man. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Just a nice fucking. It would be fantastic with things like that, like shrimp and scallops and grilled and seared and yeah. um, kind of like a medium rare seared tuna, you know, mm -hmm. like just awesome, beautiful red tuna. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm seeing it with stuff like that, you know, maybe some... Well, uh, I was, go ahead. Oh, I was almost thinking like a real rare steak, like... 
it, it could. It could hold up. Nice because and juicy. It, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It could hold up because it has that sort of rich, vinous kind of character mm -hmm. to it. And the dryness of this stuff, it, it, I mean, it would go with pretty much any, like, moisturizing food. You well, know? that's why like, I'm thinking, like, a good, rich sort of seafood, too, you know? Because we well, talk yeah. about, like, crab and crab cakes and mm -hmm. grilled shrimp and scallops that have that kind of richness to them, you know? Well, yeah, and even it some fish. It would go along with it. The like, sourness would play off of mm -hmm. it back and forth a little bit, and then the dryness would al allow that kind of richness of the... Mm -hmm. of the seafood to come through you know yeah. i think it would really like they would balance each other yeah. a lot and depending on what kind of a sauce you had you know since this is it's got kind of a big flavor but it's dry right so if you had a any kind of a buttery kind of a beurre blanc type of sauce or something that mm -hmm. had some wine or a beurre rouge with some red wine in it oh yeah know, yeah like, like that could play with this it could hold up to that i'll tell you what this is a fucking excellent cooking ingredient absolutely too. like i could already see that yeah holy shit this is good like fuck this is two good. thumbs up oh yeah this also go great with like some pasta stuff like it would go good with that and i'm also going like at the very end of your meal you know and i, I want to do like a like a raspberry cheesecake or yeah, something like that with these, mm -hmm. you know, or a raspberry tart or something would go super well with this. Oh, yeah. Wow. Excellent. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm... Throw just... this in, like, with some, uh, uh, some, some nice, small, black, sweet mussels, you know, with a little bit of, like, roasted garlic, not too sharp in the garlic. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh... Just let it ride, man. Yeah. A bunch of, you know, like a nice sweet cream butter and mm -hmm. holy fuck, oh dear. Some nice toasted crusty bread in there. Yeah. Oh, man. Fuck. And then finish that off with a raspberry tart and you got it's yourself a good situation. With a salad, too. It'd yeah. go good with Real some... basic. Like, I think but, it'd go yeah. good with salads with like some fruit and seafood in there. Oh, yeah. You know, like a nice summery type stuff. of thing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, maybe some grated super sharp uh, low-fat cheeses, you know, like just some super fresh parmesan or some romano or some um like kind of a drier fontina or something yeah would be yeah awesome even like swiss and shit like it could like that exactly that same kind of almost sharpness to yeah. it you know oh, yeah. yeah yep damn God, yeah uh, <laughs> it's a uh, this is probably the most surprised I've ever been by a review we've done I don't so think we I didn't think like, we'd spend eight minutes talking about it no either. it's over this is our first one for the night. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. Totally. Put oh, two yeah. thumbs up. Absolutely. Yep. And it's a limited edition, too, so if you guys can get it, get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need some more of this. Yeah. 